Forge Cup Ministries is a Bible-based church. Our mission is to bring people to Jesus Christ. God's word is above all things. It's sharper than any double-aged sword, penetrating to your soul and spirit. Welcome the Holy Spirit and open your heart as you make God's word the standard for your life. Promise TV, bringing people to Jesus Christ. Say thank you, Jesus, for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit. In Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Shall we clap for Jesus? You may be seated. Our viewers, wherever you are watching us from, you are welcome to the midweek service. We thank God that you are there and you are part of the service. God Almighty is going to bless you. What we are getting here, you too, you get it wherever you are. Praise the Lord. The book of Galatians, chapter 6. Galatians, chapter 6, verse 7. Romans, chapter 2, verse 6. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. The Bible reads, Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Whoever sows to please the flesh, from the flesh you reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit, from the spirit you reap eternal life. Nine, let us not become wealthy in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, this is 10. As we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. People of God, <clears throat> My message is very simple. Please stop fighting your future. How do you fight your future? Because what you are doing now or today will give birth to your tomorrow. The life that you are living now Is the life that will give birth to the next day. If what you are planting in your future is poison, you are going to leave poison. So this is why as Christians, more especially as believers, we must be cautious of what we are feeding our spiritual life. If you are not aware of what you are feeding your spiritual life, you'll be shocked when it is time to, you know, to harvest. If you plant maize, you expect to harvest maize. If you lie against your sister, your brother, Remember that that is what you are planting. In short, you are fighting your future. Because there's nothing that will come out of that life that you are living. God cannot be mocked by anyone. You are in that office. You are in that position. You are a leader inside the church. What you are doing today you must be cautious that what you are doing today against your brother or your sister is what you are planting 
in your life. If you are stealing, one day you meet the bullet. If you are drinking beer, you meet the consequences of drinking beer. Are you doing prostitution? You meet the consequences of prostitution. Are you in politics and you are lying against your fellow politicians? You are fighting them. You are destroying their characters. That is what you are planting in your political career. When it is time to harvest what you are planting, you'll be shocked. Are you sleeping with men? What are you expecting? Is it that you become pregnant? Or you'll be afflicted? Today you enjoy sin. And you are planting sin in your life. What is the fruit of sin? The Bible says that when it is full grown, it gives birth to death. This is why I am standing here to tell you that stop fighting your future. If what you are doing now pleases your father in heaven, even your future is going to please you. Whatever you are feeding your spiritual life is what you are going to reap at the end of the day. Are you a liar? What is the outcome of lying? Are you a killer? I told you here that here on earth, you are a teacher. Here on earth, you are a lawyer. Or maybe a nurse or a doctor or a professor. What about in that life there in heaven? Who are you there? Who are you going to be? Who is going to organize you in that career, in that field? There are people that we bar here on earth with that dignity, with that respect. But in heaven, there's nothing like that. So stop fighting your future. The Bible says that the end of everything is better than its beginning. The life that we are living now will give birth to your tomorrow. It's Bible, it's not me. It's here. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Are you a generous person? Are you afflicting pain in your brother's family? your sister, your wife, your husband. The pain of your brother today, that is your harvest tomorrow, if you don't know. The pain of your sister today, that is your harvest tomorrow. If someone is crying because of what you have done to them, and you, you are enjoying, you are eating, you are driving, everyone is organizing, ah, Mulendam, tomorrow, that Tears, that is coming out of that brother or sister. That is your harvest. And that is your future. Why are you planting bad things in your life? Because today you are smiling. Why? And you feel good. It's more like you are looking for a child. You are a child of God. Then you see that God is not answering your prayer. You go and seek other alternatives from which doctors. And you became pregnant and you think it's which doctors who have made you to be a mother or a father. It's a lie. A witch doctor cannot be a creator. Neither your God. And you become pregnant, you give birth to that child. That child is the future that you are going to see at your old age. He will give you problems. He will give you tough time. Because that child belongs to that foundation. You are educating your children using money contaminated with blood. And you are expecting your children to be great. You are deceiving yourself. God cannot be mocked, people of God. What you are doing today is what you are going to see tomorrow. What are you doing? What type of life are you living? What have you done to your brother and your sister? 
There are some who are crying because of you. There are others who are in the prison because of you. You feel good because you can walk freely. You can go anywhere. You are forgetting that it is now your future that is now in prison. You may not go to the prison physically. But things will be bad. Stop fighting your future. How? The life that you are living today must give birth to your tomorrow. If you are praying today, what are you expecting? Of course, the peace of God. You are going to school, your father and your mother, they thought our daughter or our son, I mean, is, is in classroom. Or maybe you are at the university. Your mother, your father, they are somewhere. They thought, oh, our child is at the university. And yet, you have never entered class, not even one day. They are busy sending money. First semester, they will send money. Second semester, they will send money. Third semester, they will send money. When it is time to graduate, of course they will hear other children to say, oh, graduation ceremony will be next week. What about you? What are you expecting? Because you have never attended any uh, class. Are you going to graduate? No. What we are planting is what you see. Your father will kiss you. Your mother will kiss you. We have spent all this money not knowing that we are just drinking and, you know, doing all kinds of bad things. Instead of telling us the truth that you are not going to school. You are a bad child. That's simple word to you it may look so you know easy and nothing but it's going to affect your future if your mother or your father said you know that word the ancestors are listening to what your father said they will pick that word if you don't know this, ancestors are there. Even if you are delivered, you are disconnected, they are always watching the life that you are living. The ancestral, you know, that are under, I mean, let me just say, uh, idol worshipping or witchcraft. Someone was a wizard or a witch. They are there, spiritually. They will listen to those words that your father or your mother will utter against you. They will grab the words and afflict your life. Or maybe someone is going to prison because you want to admit that person. And that person will cry to say, this is what you have done to me. Oh, God. Unless if you are not there. God of Abraham. If you are chula, we have seen big politicians who were there years back. Their children are suffering today. We have seen headlines where someone who is, I can't even imagine, found yourself in a mercy. Years back or 20 years back. Because of what they did, the consequences now are affecting their whole entire family. What you are planting is what you are going to see tomorrow. Please, I can not be a No one knows what you are doing behind the church or behind the law because the law is blind. It is only you who knows what you are doing. When you are alone, of course, you are. Anyway, it's Bible, it's not me. Whoever sows to please the flesh, from the flesh, you reap destruction. Whoever sows to please the spirit, from the spirit, you reap eternal life. The Bible says in verse 9, let us not become worldly in doing good. For at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Never you allow anyone to mislead your life. If you know that doing good is the way to please your father, continue that life. Whether in politics, in business, whatever career, continue doing what you are doing. 
You are a married woman. You are going, you know, outside Zambia. You see your friends who are not married. They start, you know, misbehaving when they are out of the country. You too, you want to make more money. So that when you come back, you are a rich person. The harvest to be a disaster. The harvest to be what? A disaster. Continue doing the good things that you know. Now this is the way. If it is 100 kwacha you are using for your business, maintain that 100 kwacha. The hand of God is there to multiply your 100 kwacha. Don't be deceived by anyone. Because when you go outside, that's when you see people, you know, they always change their characters. You enter the flight to become a, a, an American person. You are a Zambian. Maintain your standard. You are there for business. Hmm? You can't even disclose that you are a married woman. Sometimes you, you see people remove their rings and put it inside their bag. What are you trying to do? They harvest it. This harvest will be like a, you know, a, a pregnancy. If you are pregnant, you can hide that pregnancy for one month, two months, three months. There must be a sign. There must be what? A sign. Shape with Rambo Kuchinja. Four months. Ah. No. We need to ask this person. Ah. No, 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 no. no. One day your step is going to interpret the situation. To say, no, this type of walking, this person is pregnant. Ah, this is a paramount pepe, ulufumolo. I remember one story years back. When this child was crying, my head, my head, my head, my head. The, the, the mother and the sister took that child to, uh, to the hospital. Not knowing that the girl was pregnant. And she drank some concussion to abort what? The child. She was busy crying, my head, my head, my head. Abamu wikechi salukumu tuwa tumu tuwa na umushu pasana. Kanshi ni mumalemu ya kantu. Before they even reach at the hospital, a child come out of her body. He said, ah, ah, which one is a headache? Hmm? What you are planting is what you are going to reap. You were just alone. No one knows that you are sleeping with a man. But here is a child. Are you going to say, I've never slept with any man? How come this baby? Hmm? So what you are doing now, is what you are going to see tomorrow. People of God, there is life after this life. Let us think about that life after this one. If you don't say you are a businessman, here you are, you are a businessman, here you are a minister, today you are a president. Who are you going to be in that life? What are you planting? Are you not fighting your future? Are you not fighting your future? There are some of you, you are a leader today. And how many people have died for you to become a leader? There are children who are suffering. You and your children, you are enjoying. Others died because of you. Are you telling me that God is happy of what you, you did? The answer is no. This baby become an orphan because of you. That is the seed you have planted. If it cannot happen to you, it's going to happen to your children. Take note of this. Don't even joke with the word of God. What you are doing today is what you see tomorrow. The harvest. So, as a child of God, what we are doing private is what we are known for to our Father in heaven. The prayer that you are going to offer in the presence of the multitude is just a camouflage. It's like you wear a combat, you are not a soldier. If they bring machine gun to say, okay, this is the one they use uh, 
there is someone who is wearing a combat. I think he, he knows how to uh, operate the gun. Let him remove the magazine because we just found this gun here and we don't know if it is engaged. So let that one. And then they say, oh, Mr. Man, you are a military. Say, ah, I, me too, I don't know. But how come you are wearing a combat? That is what we are. Stop deceiving yourself that you are a child of God, you are praying to God, you know what you are planting. Planting means what? What you are doing. It's a parable. What you are doing now will stand for you. Remember Ezekiel when it is time to leave, when God sent the prophet to say, go and tell him that he, let him put his house in order. He's about to go. Ezekiel did not say why. No. He looked at his activities in the house of God. The works that he did. And he carried his works to God to say, God, this is what I've been doing to you. I've been loyal to you. I always obey your command. And God looked at his activities and said, yes. 15 more years to you. But you... You, you like saying, Aba, naba, no, no. point to your works. Judgment ya muntu, tula pingu ilu alimo, filafine wafwa, no kupingu ilu alimo, filafine wafwa, wa lebo mba, we follow you. Like we have seen in our time, when someone who is a big, you know, leave this world, you see everyone is there uh, crying, saying all kinds of, you know, things, uh, wishing this person was a good... Is God Almighty saying this Mulenga is a good person? If God cannot call you a good person, whoever is calling you a good person was eating from your hand. And yet, this is the mother who was defending that my child is innocent. Each of it is not a child. That is life in the flesh. But you, a Christian, a child of God, you must be aware of this, that what you are doing now, you are planting. Because if that person now starts cursing you, you and your children, you will be affected. One day you harvest what you planted. So know what you are doing now. Because your harvest will be distraction. Yes, but Yes. But So it's important to know that what we are doing now is the harvest we'll see tomorrow. Life So stop fighting your future. Because if you're a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little You look innocent. Are you innocent in the eyes of God? Are you innocent in your heart? You know that, ah, this is me. Your tomorrow must be better than today. 
And there's no way your tomorrow can be better than your today. If your activities now is evil. Even those who are watching me, what you are planting is what you are going to reap. There is no way you can plant groundnuts and you expect maize. No. What you plant is what you are going to harvest. God bless you.